Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Assalamu alaikum wabarakatuh and greetings to my lecturer Dr. Liza Marziana and my friends. Today my name is Muhammad Sigmar bin Zanuddin and I, me and my friends Shukri and Yus will be presenting about the universal art style of Malaysian painting. The universal art style of Malaysian painting began in the round year of 1960s. The theme that was used was landscape, human figure and still life. One of its most targeted subjects are local, regional, and international landscape, human activities, nature, and abstract. Local artists during this period used many different art styles. So one of them is abstract, semi-abstract, expressionism, abstract, abstract expressionism, cubism, and pop art. One of those local artists that used this art styles during the 60s are Sher Ahmad Jalal, Tai Hu Keat, Abdul Latif Muhyiddin, Tio Jin Leng, Li Ju Fo, and Ibrahim Hussein, and Ismail Hussein. One of the painting that I've studied is a painting called The Woman Crossing the Stream after Rembrandt, or in other words, Pumpan Mangharungi Sungai Selepas Rembrandt. Made in 1966, it was painted by an artist named Ismail Zain by using oil paint on a 48 by 36 canvas. This painting was originally inspired by another painting called Henry K. Bathing in the River by Rembrandt in the year of 1654. The model is portrayed off-center and together with the color strip on the left, it gives an impression of a painted image references a picture from a book. As compared to the original, the figure's legs are cut short and soaked in scarlet red stream, in turn lending the air of, of city to, an, to a famous image. To compare between Rembrandt's and Ismail's work, they both use different types of colors. Rembrandt's work use dark and light colors such as white and brown and black. However, Ismail Zain used different types of colors which is more lighter and more bolder such as red, yellow and blue. In addition to that, both of them have different type of approach to the painting such as Rembrandt use more to a realistic and figurative painting towards the woman, while Ismail Zain used much more to a semi-abstract approach to the painting, yet keeping the figurative of the woman figure. Ismail Zain added a few Malay characters to the detail of the woman figure to add some of the Malay culture into his inspired painting, such as the type of clothing that the woman wears. Well, that's all for me, and these are slides from my partners.